All right, so welcome, welcome, welcome. Now, I'm going to be really quick with this. I'm not going to take a lot of your time. So, considering the fact that Nigerians or those of us in Nigeria, we are having issues with, um, what do you call it, getting um, cards that can allow us to do transactions on the internet following the 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 um the switching off of of um plumter and flutter with a whole bunch of others gig pay is an only one suite that you can use for anything business and it's going to be really really awesome if you stick to the end of this training you see how things work so in this training i'm showing you how to get your own card and you know link it to paypal now a note of warning i'm not able to log into my paypal account on my laptop so i'll have to do that with my mobile phone so this video will transcend you know, when we are done with getting the cards, this video will transcend into the, what do you call it, the, the, from my laptop to my mobile phone, just in case, all right? So, head on to geekpay.africa if you are in Nigeria and sign up with your NIN, what it is, your NIN slip and proof of residence, okay? Proof of residence is your NEPA bill or any other thing. Now, one company I use for, you know, generating my as you can see it's already here it's uh, my it's bipod or ng bipod or ng would let you generate proof of residence if you just pay your nepa bill and it shows you it makes sure that your house address you know appears on the pdf you'll be using or the pdf that will be generated for you with your you know for you to fund or add credit to your meter okay so it's really, it's really important you can use this or you can um head out to um any of these pos guys that will let you use their pos and then your house address shows on their pay slip but i highly recommend buy power because under 30 minutes you can be done with everything and you're good to go without having to leave the, your house or anything so if you head on here just put in your phone number generate click on buy electricity add your meter number your name and your house address will pop out and that's it so once you sign up on geek pay click on um, open an account if you click on open an account you just sign up with your name your email um password ignore this click on continue you know however if there is a referral code i might add that in the description later so once you've added once you've clicked on this click on continue it may be sent to your email to verify your account and you click on the link in there and you're good to go so the next thing you should want to add is like I said, your NIN and your proof of residence. These are the things that you would use, the documents you use to verify your, what do you call it, your identity. So once you're done with that, next thing you have to do is you click on login and click on continue. So I'll close this. So over here, as you can see, I already have um, a couple of things up and running here. So just relax. I would show you um how these things work now over here is a dashboard this is the home page transactions where you have your transactions invoices if you generate an invoice to be paid or something like that you have your cards you have accounts beneficiary settings and log and log out so where you have the settings is where you can finish up all of your verification stuff you don't have to really worry about that because like i said all they need is just your um is just your nin and your proof of residence and you're good to go but follow every question there follow it gradually you don't really need a walkthrough for all of those things because it's pretty they are pretty simple for you to to answer and for you to go through them they are very much very very easy you don't really need a guide to go through the the, the verification there just add your name add your house address as it is in the form there upload a document that verifies the house address then you add your nin that proves that this is what you are doing that this is you like this is you for real yeah and once you do that you're good to go so the next thing you have to do is if you want you can generate an, uh, your own account and to do that what you have to do is you just simply click on account and over here they will give you accounts in a couple of currencies yeah so just click on create account Cl um, cl click on create account click on choose currency you have usd ur and gbp now you the, um if you don't have an account here yet unlike myself if you don't have an account you have the option of generating an ngn account which is a nigerian account so it should actually pop out here so let's assume that this gbp is ngn for just for the purpose of this video because i already have an account i already have um, an account with these guys so i don't need another one just click on create and when you're done they would give you a nigerian bank account now yours might be rainest it is the i'm um, sorry it might be providus bank and this is your account number this is my account number this is the, the bank this is my name the rareness there is like is that i am 
under Renest, uh, you know, under Renest, the, the parent company of GeekPay is Renest. So that's that. These are the people that are giving the accounts and stuff like that. So basically, if you want to fund your wallet and, you know, fund your card, what you have to do is in your bank app, punch in this account number, this bank name, and this account holder name should pop out. So once you do, you transfer that. It should reflect in your dashboard. Let me show you. Once you send that money to reflect in your dashboard, if you click on transactions here, uh, you see, good, this wallet top up here. As you can see, I sent 30,000 naira from my bank account to the Providus Bank. Excuse me, let me open this in a new tab. I sent 30,000 naira to this bank account here, this Providus Bank, and it reflected right here, which is this 30K you see. So doing that now, make sure that i had this money in my wallet this text get reflected in my wallet okay so as you can see i've done some pretty much i've done some transactions over here and i'll show you how to do all of that and get your cards so once you've added this money to your um wallet once you add this money to your wallet what you have to do is you come over here to the home page click on cards now as you can see i already have a card here and i don't if i should click on this it should show you it should show you all the details and i don't want that okay so let's assume you don't have a card because if you click on cards you won't see anything here all you see is create card so when you click on create card now like i said you already have money in your nigerian wallet or any of your wallets but for the sake of this tutorial it's nigerian wallet and you've transferred money into the nigerian wallet so you can call this card you can call it um anything maybe op whatever then the virtual card they don't I, th I don't think they issue physical cards now it's just virtual cards all right then you click on continue now for each card you create they will charge you three dollars which is for the purpose of the create of creating the card all right it goes to them for giving you that card for using their card then let's say you want to fund this account and let's say you've transferred money to your account to your rainforest account and uh maybe hundred thousand naira. so understand that the you you they will charge you this is the money where you see buying and selling buying is how much they pay you selling is how much you use in funding your account all right so let's say you want to fund your account with um hundred dollars okay hundred dollars now you can't your your money will not be charged at sixty three thousand seven hundred forty one naira no you'll be charged at sixty six thousand and eighty five naira this is subject to change because this is not this this rates fluctuate this is subject to change all right it's subject to change so um always know that you'll be fund you have to fund your wallet based on the selling side not the buying side it's really important you know this so if you want to fund your wallet we say 200 um, 100 dollars know that this is how much they will charge you um so let's do this um they'll charge you 66 660 naira 85 616 naira and 85 naira so that is 660.85 times 100. This is how much they will charge you, all right? Then recall that you probably need $3 extra for funding your card, all right? So um, we'll, we'll cl close this then. $3 times 660.85 is this. So you add plus 66,085. So this is how much you should be sending to your account so you can just send seventy thousand there so that you don't have to worry yourself about all these other stuffs okay so once you've sent that seven thousand there to your account um and you want to fund your account with hundred dollars considering the exchange rates you can type in hundred dollars here sorry hundred dollars here select wallet select an nigerian wallet and click on submit once you are done once you're done a card will pop out like this and you're good to go and that card has been funded with the money you want to fund it with all right so if you click on see billing address you see that this is the billing address of the card if you're conversant with flutter wave get better you know that flutter wave uses 333 fremont street something like that as a billing address all right so that is this is how you can generate your card and make use of it so if you want to fund the card again tomorrow simply click on if you want to fund the card again maybe some other time first thing you have to do is send money to your providus bank in your case yours might not be providus bank whatever bank they give you send money to that bank account this bank account here is going to reflect in your wallet all right 
So to verify that the money has been sent to your to your rent to your gig pay account, simply click on this drop down here. And if I have money in here, it should show here, but I've already spent some of the money. And as you can see, it's detecting that hey, I've spent the, um, I received 30 k and I spent 29,000 um naira you know out of out of that money and stuff like that. So I'll leave this as zero. Okay, so once you have that, once you have that, okay, once you have that with you um once you funded the wallet the, the wallet rather you can click on add funds all right click on add fund and this is my card so you can punch in how much you want for me let's say i've i've sent money to my nigerian account and i want to fund my nigerian account so any money i add in here it shows the conversion rate it shows how much it will be converting at i have insufficient balance because there's no money in there so um it will show how much i want to convert or how much i want to add and when you click on continue the money is automatically added to your card very easy a couple of persons are having difficulty in this but i don't know why probably because maybe because i'm used to flutter wave or something or i can find a way around things so if you if you fund your nera wallet just punch in any amount of dollars you want to fund your um, card with click on continue and you're good to go and the card is funded if i click on this you show me my details and i don't want that so if you want to add your details to paypal if you click on this a couple of details will pop out and you can add these things to paypal um now let me see maybe i might not really have to add uh, do that stuff um here is the thing Okay, I think I'll just get into... No, 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 no. I don't need to get into PayPal because I have some some addresses in there that I don't want to add. Now, here is what you should do if you want to add this card to PayPal. A lot of persons are having issues with it. Your PayPal account, if it's UAE, Lesotho, or whatever account you're using, already has an address in it. So if you add your Rennes card, that's your gig pay card, it will bounce. So what you have to do first is go into the settings locate where you can add address inside the inside your paypal account now add this address given to you here this billing address okay um just add where you have the address number one put in 651 north street north um, broad street suite 206 all right where you have address one put in 651 north broad street suite 206 and where you have the town or city just put in middle town okay where you have the state or or county put in de de stands for delaware so you type in delaware delaware is spelled um ah please inside of all this capture so this is how delaware is spelled All right, Delaware. D E stands for Delaware. So once you put in Delaware in the in your PayPal in the um, states, then it will ask you for postal code. Put in nineteen seven zero nine. Just put in nineteen seven zero nine. Now you don't have to put in USA. Just put in address one six five one North Broad Street, suit two zero six. Where you have the city, put in Middletown. Or sorry, where you have yeah, city, put in Middletown. Then where you have the um, country a uh, country and uh, sorry um state put in de which is delaware don't type in de just type delaware all right then type in um where you have the postal code type in 19709 it works that way all right so let me see if there's uh, a screenshot of you know paypal address So if you go on to images, let me see. Okay, great. Mm. Think how to add address on PayPal. Okay, cool. So if you sign up, click on manage your addresses or something like that, then you can add first of make sure you add the address. Add the address first. Once you've added the address, um, once you add the address where I've told you to add it here, remember it should be um address number one is 651 um north broad street suit 206 then the city is middletown all right middletown then the county or state is delaware which is de here but type in delaware don't type in de where you have the postal code type in 19 
709 and the postal code save it then go back add this card on from gigpay which is Renes. add this card it will work and i think they will debit one dollar from your card and reimburse the money so as you can see i used it to make a transaction on a site just not too long ago so that's that so that's how you work with this that's how you add your card i'm still trying to see if i can find you know something um aha uh -huh. yes this is it here this is it here. as you can see it says here address one where you have address one you put in i don't want to log into paper i tried logging to paper on my pc but it's messing up oops put in address so where you have um address number one put in 651 north broad street suit street um broad street suit 206 spell the street s-t-r-e-e-t -E -E spell it correctly then you add that as address one skip address two where you have town or city add middletown put middletown in there where you have the town or city that's where you put middletown where you have the state or territory put in delaware all right d-e-l-a-w-a-r-e -E -E. where you have the postcode you add 1907 and 19709 and you're good to go you don't need to add usa just when you're done click on save it and go back and add your card and you're good to go so that's how you work with gigpay i hope you've enjoyed this um yeah so that's that if you have anything else use the comment section tell me how this worked for you if this worked for you if you still have any issues with this then you can send me a mail we'll see how we get help you to fix this all right Thank you very much for your time and peace.